Thank you very much. CJ Rose doing a fantastic job all day and night announcing the fights. And uh, we've been enjoying commentating on these magnificent matchups on the Muay Thai Grand Prix. Brett Benetti here, joined once again by Jordan Godfredson. I'll tell you what, Liam O'Connor taking on Cody Basso Brusa is a great matchup. And you've got a bit of a background about this matchup as well, Jordan. Yeah, so Liam, Liam from Monsters Gym, he's uh, his, uh, his training partner Dion actually fought Cody previously and lost to him. So Liam's wanting to come back through and, and avenge his teammate. Uh, both these boys, very similar record. Liam with uh, 19 fights, 10 wins, with Cody with 17 fights, 9 wins. So very, very similar records, both orthodox. Both uh, favourite weapons are their kicks. Uh, Cody, favourite fighter is teammate George Mann. <laughs> the George Mann, the world champion. Well, Liam's favourite fighter is uh, none other than Liam Harrison. So wow. if he's tuning in to watch the uh, the UK boy in the next fight, hello to Liam Harrison, a uh, superstar of the Muay Thai scene and EDA's fans here down in Dununder. Well, so this is for a fight for revenge and honour of the of the teammates. So uh, so looking forward to uh, to this one. Great preparation uh, for both fighters and uh, and. and Probably take uh, that, that feedback from Dion as well. What's it like fighting uh, someone like Cody Basso Brusa? What can he use himself in the lead up to this fight? It's here right now, so probably uh, works in a bit of a favour for Liam Connor that inside information. But yep. It's very different when you get in there, obviously. But, of course, uh, of course. Anything actually helps. Yeah, so at least he's got his training partner has been in there with his opponent, has a bit of a background story, maybe can capitalise where Dion maybe didn't uh, get across the line. But I'm sure Cody's coming in with a lot of confidence, being a, uh, having a win over the gym already, and uh, ready to stand his name on the second fight. Final instructions from our referee, Dee Woodham's done a great job as referee throughout the course of the event. I'll tell you what, something interesting about Cody Basso Bruce, which surprises me a bit when I look at him in the ring, is that something interesting is that he likes wearing you know, mismatching funky socks. But it, we've seen that uh, throughout the course that you can actually you know, wear different colour ankle wraps. So I'm surprised that he actually not wearing uh, wearing the same uh, same colour on both feet. Oh, well, maybe he just saves it for his personal life. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Maybe just for work. Maybe yeah. for work. We saw that uh, a few fighters tonight wearing uh, different colours uh, throughout the course. A couple of fights ago as well. So this fight, five three-minute rounds. So going to be five five round fight, three-minute rounds, two-minute break. So this will be good. I like these five rounds. In fact, round of fights, you get to see really, really the full capabilities of both athletes. Yeah. And you know the interesting thing as well is that on the Palmer bet, I believe that. Uh, but Liam O'Connor is a slight outside of this one, so Cody Basso Brusa, slight favourite. We go around the way.
low kick there by Cody. He's sort of, I think he's working that front leg now. He, he's maybe found, there we are, there's another two. Might have found a, a little chink in uh, Liam's armor there. And this is a five round fight. We see what happens when uh, low kicks can uh, accumulate early in the fight. You see a few people get, get slow, slowed right down in those three rounders. But these five round fights, it's a lot longer time just if you're doing damage and you want to make sure you're checking early. Yeah, I think that's uh, Liam O'Connor's had some fitting success so far in the opening round. He's been timing his shots very well, very well. That right hand seems to be working, landing really well for him. And it lands a lot, hard low kick of his own. Another really well placed low kick there by Liam. For an elbow over the top and a push oh, kick to nice. the face. Very well timed. And a, and a high body again. kick. Always into the clinch. Nice turn over the top there by Cody. Liam looking for a spinning elbow on the way out of the clinch. He's taken the leap of uh, the advice from Dion because, again, he said that basically he wants to use that effective pressure. You know, Liam O'Connor, again, both, seen both these guys fight, so they've got good attitudes on them. You know, had some success so far in their careers, so they want to continue on that. Uh, their path. They're both young boys, 20, 23, oh, just coming into, the, into their uh, adult years, getting stronger every fight, I'm sure. Oh, nice there start go. there by Brusa. It's good that, that Liam's got up high. Yeah, it's good that Cody's got his hands up because those head kicks keep flicking out by Liam and landing on the guard, but I wouldn't want to see him drop his hands. Oh, otherwise Beautiful left be in trouble. Cody. Yeah, that was a nice left kick by Cody. Start there by Cody. Attempted punch there, but nicely uh, evaded by Cody. Oh, another nice high kick there. Front high kick to Liam. From Liam. Very flicky, isn't he? Very flicky. Yeah. Comes up quick. Yeah. Cody's got to be uh, wary of those. Oh, that, <laughs> that yeah. got through. Took yeah, that, that one well. was nice. A couple of hands and a left kick to finish. Topping that leg. Smile there from uh, Liam O'Connor, a lethal smile. Cody just trying to find his way in, nice low kick. Nice left kick to his own, parry. Well, ladies and gentlemen, nice, coming nice up next, the kick. main event, WBC Heavyweight World Title. Stay tuned. Got a great fight on here between Liam O'Connor and Cody Basso Brusa. Liam thinking about the switch. Question mark kick. Ooh. But then he just flicks it up with a fast head kick instead. Nice low kicks there from uh, Cody. I think that's the, the path to victory for Cody. Just trying to slow Liam down with his hard low kicks. He's got three and a half rounds to do it. He certainly Ooh, has. Nice body kick. But Liam is very, very, uh, he's a bit unorthodox. A bit flicky. But uh, I think he's had some boxing fights as well from memory, so he's got good hands. There's a bit of a Muay Thai boxing fusion. And it's a really good push kick, so. Yeah, another one. And he's finding the mark to the face. Yeah. Several times in his yep. fight. See, a couple punches and a kick to finish. See the redness around the nose and the lip. Of uh, Cody. So a lot of them are getting through. Yeah, see, these are those shots that land well, those hands and a, and a finish with a kick. Cody coming forward, trying to land his hands of his own in a low kick. That's better from, Co from both boys. He's picking up the pace here. Oh, head kick, left kick. That, he felt that one. Closes the distance into the clinch. Liam pushing it, pushing Cody into the corner. Both boys looking for knees. Right in front of our commentary position, some great uh, action to close off round two. Both boys good in the clinch. Oh, looking for an elbow, Liam just missing. Great second round. Very good round. So he believes he's currently at peak fitness, and the most sharp he's been as far as skills are concerned. So this might uh, you know, hold him in good stead in the final three rounds. And that's what you need in these five round fights, is you need that conditioning, you need that fitness, you need that confidence to get through it. So this is where we'll see uh, how both boys are in their preparation.
bit low, but, uh, but lethal uh, Liam Connor is happy oh, to continue. That, well, switch see, that's a dangerous head kick as well. So in that last round, Liam landed a really good head kick on Cody. Cody wore it well as well, but he's got to be careful because it comes up quick. Like I said, it flicks up. Um, Cody has a very good guard. I will say that it's been doing a lot of favours in this fight, but he's got to make sure he keeps that guard high. The damage is showing on uh, Basso Brewster as well, the left side especially. Yep. Uh, but been marked up from some of those uh, those head kicks that have been getting through, but also the punches, and probably mainly the kicks. He's taken them quite well, so it shows you he's in good condition. Nice catch. Oh, that's yeah, beautiful nice. Catch and kick. Called it early. Yep. Jordan, very nice. Check. Oh, beautiful attempt from the head kick as well from Liam. It flicks up so quickly. He doesn't even step back on it. It actually he stays in his stance and he just flicks it up. Very flicky. So it's hard to see it come. You won't see him step back to kick. You'll see him just throw it. See, look. A beautiful three-punch combination of hooks there. Which really isn't that tight uh, traditional style. So it's, it's a bit different to probably what uh, Cody's seen. And there you go again. Another hard low kick by Liam. Picking his shots really well in this round. Oh, another face hit to the face. Oh, he felt that one. There's a hook. There's a hook up the cut. Oh, head kick. Liam. Uh, Cody's got to keep those hands tight. Damage is starting to accumulate. Right elbow over the top of the guard there by the blue corner. Looking for the push kick to the face again. Nice inside leg kick by Cody. He's looking a little oh. bit tired, to be honest here. I think he might be a little bit wobbly. He is. Yeah, oh, oh that was a hard left kick. So punishment with kicks to the head. Yeah, this is some hard shots here by Liam, and they're all landing. It's going to be a count. Yeah, yeah I think that's a fair Thank decision. He was looking a bit wobbly. Cody looks a bit surprised, but he shouldn't be because he's taken a lot of punishment, and it's great work by Liam O'Connor. This is uh, what's so impressive because, again, if, if Cody in peak uh, condition, but Liam have been doing this. It's a great, impressive performance so far. Liam just getting the groin shot, just needing a second, but says he wants to go back home, which is fair yeah, play. Yeah. You don't want to take the pressure Why off in you? these moments. Oh. Nice right hand down the middle, head kick over the top. Cody with the left kick of his own, walking forwards, landing some hands, trying to close that distance. Oh! Attempt of a spinning back kick there, just, wow. just off the mark, and a spinning elbow. Cody's so tough coming forwards. That spinning wheel kick was sensational. Into the clinch. Watch out for that spin. He's all over, uh, Cody. What a round by Liam O'Connor. Dominant round by the blue corner there. Be the uh, advice in the corner from, uh, from Darren Reese to uh, Cody for some pressure after that round. I'd, uh, if it was me, I'd be saying make sure you're keeping those hands up tight and let's put this pressure Ooh. on. Oh, beautiful uh, like that. punches there from Cody. And I'd be telling him, mate, we really want to see how much we want it here. Put it on this boy and uh, let's, let's see if we can turn this fight around. Two minutes has done him a world of wonder so far. Yep, absolutely. Back into the clinch. Nice little turn there by Liam to put Cody back oh. against the ropes and a good stabbing left knee. Another one. Liam O'Connor. Three in a row. Strong knees. Oh, trying to thinking about a spinning elbow there, but Cody uh, had him pinned. Team Williams comes in to separate them. They go back to the middle of the ring, probably where Liam wants it. See, there's that, that teeth to the face. Just coming off the cheekbone, not doing any damage, but still scoring, still frustrating Cody, still keeping him at bay. Yeah, this is the distance where, and he doesn't want to get some ropes as well, nice this is probably kick. where Cody wants it, but who's out of, out of harm's way is O'Connor. Cody stalking him down, looking for some punches, good hard shots, it's the clinch again. They're getting turned against the ropes, so this is where he needs to turn, get his back off the ropes, really try and uh, show the judges that he's in control of this round. Boys fighting. Separation there from Dean Woodhams. Seeing a little bit of fatigue there on Liam. A couple yeah, of deep breaths been as they had break. For yeah. Rounds. yeah, this is that fourth round. This is what they call the championship round. This is where you're extra tired, you're extra sore, everything's all the accumulation of all the shots are adding up. Got to find that second win. This is where heart conditioning and will takes over. About to uh, to go through the uh, spinning uh, back fist then, but uh, out of harm's way was uh, Cody. Powers dropped off a little bit here from the boys. Yeah, grueling fight. 
boys just pick a mesh up. Oh, oh beautiful again. kick to the face. That has been money all night. Yeah, it has, and it's been landing straight through the gut. Look, he's gone again. So he's got scratches on his little face now, uh, does Cody, just from these toes probably coming up at him all, all night. But credit to him, he's tough, he's still walking forwards, his hands are up, he's chopping at the legs, he's, at, he's trying to punch his way in. But, uh, Liam's got, but Liam's got very good footwork. Like You see how he walks around the ring, he punches, he kicks, he step back, it'll tee. Oh, again. See, these are this Super is really good, very active, very, very active. Oh. Spins and oh. a kick. Cody there with a blood nose, probably from those teeps. So now she is really pissing out with blood at the moment. That in those big push kicks through the middle does Liam. Yeah, he's Cody. busted up. And yeah. then see, there's been an accumulation of those uh, kicks in the head. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, <laughs> Liam looking for a, a question mark kick, but once again, Liam, uh, sorry, Cody with a good guard protecting himself. Yeah, there's uh, Liam just shakes it off and said, nah, nothing gone through. Nope. It is still bleeding, so, so maybe... Hard to stop after so much punishment. They're going to kick their guys from Riddles out of the gym. Out of the ring, I should say. Not the gym. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean that. A good gym. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Fifth and final round. And a busy night, that's for sure. And we're Both still boys back more. into it. I think we're going to see him really step it up this round. Well, oh, there we are, back to the push kick for Liam. I can't believe how many times that front uh, kick to the head has got through. And that nose is still bleeding on Cody. Yeah. Just oh, it's opened up again from that kick. Yeah. But he's nice. going to try and close the distance and try and uh, throw Hal Mary and, uh, and land that punch or kick. The right hook's been landed from Liam all night. Really nice little right hook over the top. He doesn't want to give him a breather. So oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. that. And there's the blood right across the face over in front of us. Yeah. The commentary box. Liam, I think Liam might think he's done enough here. He's, oh. just, he's landing his shots, he's circling off, taking his time. Look at him, take a look at the shot. Yeah. Uh, oh, the spinning clock. elbow attempt. Just missing. Cody saw it, still walking forwards, still landing shots, body shots, low kicks, trying to land his hands. Yeah, I know that Cody knows how to take some punishment, that's for sure. He's been, uh, and that's why he's in prime condition, as he said, leading into this fight. But he was hoping for a dominant nice win, kick there but it's been Cody. the other way around. Yeah, it's been, it's, he's had a, a hard night in the office, old Cody, but he's super tough. He's happens. walking forwards. He's still landing shots. He's still in this fight. And look, what we've seen previously, anything can happen. All it takes is one shot. Liam can't get too confident here. He can't let his guard down because he's got Cody in his face, still walking him down. But Liam's very confident picking his shots kicking yeah, reminder where you saw a knockdown in the last few Still, seconds of the last fight absolutely so anything can happen anything can happen imagine cody gets an eight count here yeah, and he doesn't get up <laughs> he loses. that's it that's it exactly so 100 percent right and he's still in he's still dangerous but, uh, but yeah super impressive performance so far from uh, liam o'connor both boys landing hard kicks. The boys gonna have sore legs tomorrow. Absolutely. Been uh, grueling to watch. What I like is a couple of low blows that uh, Liam kind of could have taken a break for. and said, "No, I want to keep fighting. I'm not letting this guy off the hook." Oh, oh nice right hand over top, slipping uh, Cody's left hook, countering very well. Does Liam? Very durable and. Uh, Cody. Oh, oh, nice. That was a really Second nice, time of the was, fight he's tried yeah, that. That was like landing right on the guard, nice just on the top Cody. of his head. Very lucky to have his hands up as Cody on that one. Nice nice body shot and left hook of his own. Final 10 seconds. Oh, another jump of the head kick attempt there from Liam. I like it. That's all she wrote. Great fight, but uh, great performance by Liam O'Connor. Go to the judges' scorecards. Official.
Absolutely no surprises there. Congratulations to Liam O'Connor. A tough win over a durable Cody Vasso-Brusa, who no doubt will be back.